I hate to tell you folks, we are heading for a massive problem in this country. We know that, don't we, with the gas and electricity and the affordability of day-to-day -day living. All prices have gone up everywhere. I've had to put my prices up, much to the chagrin of some of my regular customers. But you've got to do it, otherwise pack up shop, you know. And uh, we're, we are all equally struggling. We've seen the doom and gloom predictions from Martin Lewis as to what's going on, or rather what's not going on. And uh, what are we going to do about it? In terms of being used like zombie government, well, this could be uh, quite quite fitting, couldn't it? And, uh, you know, they, they appear to be pretty inept. And Sunak and Truss have been asked what they intend to do about it, but they won't be drawn on it either. It's a monstrous problem. Well, I'm reading today that there's been a big meeting at Downing Street between those in the know and uh, the the uh, bosses of these energy companies and the aim of which is what the fuck's going on and what are we going to do about it well apparently not really much happened at all <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel for a Thursday. Hope you're doing alright. I am not too bad. I hope you are all well. Thank you for all your support and uh, all, uh, you know all of you coming along and commenting and contributing. We've passed 31,000 subscribers and onwards and upwards. I want one of those silver plate things like old Piers Morgan, that fella got the other day and he was showing off on Twitter. But you've got to get 100,000 for one of those. We've got a bit of a way yet. I mean, yeah, 69,000. What a number. But uh, I'm sure we'll make it. Anyway, numbers. Let's talk about numbers, shall we? The price of things, the price of our bills. Well, apparently today uh, they were called in. Uh, all of the fat cat bosses were called in uh, to Downing Street to know what's going on. They had to come up with a plan, you see, to, you know, why are we all in the shit? And they, they were asked for profit forecasts, income, and all this sort of thing to basically justify why prices uh, are as high as they are. And they couldn't really answer any of this. I don't know whether it was a case of couldn't or wouldn't. And, you know, we're back in the same boat we are. And there's even this awful report here that bills could go up as much as £5,000 for a year. £5,000, how are we going to cope with that? People aren't just going to pay. There is a movement out there, uh, which I'm sure you're all aware of, where uh, they're basically saying from October, fuck them, we're not paying them. And that's getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And I, I can see that coming to something. I mean, you know, it takes the piss. It really does. Uh, I mean, there's a line here. Uh, experts at Energy Consultancy... Uh, Auxilla One said that at yesterday's energy prices, they expect Ofgem could be forced to set the cap at 5,038 per year for the average household in the three months beginning next April. Why did they call it a price cap when it keeps going up and up and up? It's not a price cap. It, it never was. I mean, some of the bloody salaries the, the people are on. I mean, Chris O'Shea, he's the CEO of Centrica. £875,000. Kate Ringrose, the Chief Financial Officer of Centrica, she's on £933,000. Uh, Michael Lewis, the CEO of Eon, is on a million quid. And uh, the CEO of EDF is on a million quid. These are eye watering salaries in anybody's book. And we are all being fleeced. You know, they can... I saw a wonderful thing on Twitter the other day where they said, hang on a minute, the government is giving us 400 quid, which is paid for by our taxes, and then we're giving it to the electricity companies who were causing the problem in the first place. We're all being conned. Yes, I think that's very well put, but, you know, they got nowhere. They keep batting and batting and batting this down the road. We're going to be winter soon when all this heat's over and done with. And there's going to be old, cold, vulnerable people out there that aren't going to be able to afford to heat their places. Then what? Hmm? You tell me. Then what? Leave the comments below. Uh, let me know what you think about this. It's disgusting. It needs to stop. And they need to find a solution. Or I can see something like 
uh, the poll tax situation in the early 90s all over again. Can you? Anyway, think about it. Toodaloo.